first two commands in the image menu are levels and curves. Both of these do basically the same thing. They just have a different look to them, and with curves you have a little more control over the details. So right now I have levels up. I get what's called a histogram with three, three graphs within it for the red, green, and blue colors in my image. Every di digital image is made up of a mix of red, green, and blue. So every color can be adjusted using those three. I have three sliders in levels, black, gray, and white. Slide the black in a little, and the dark areas get a little heavier. Move the white slider in, and the light areas get a little lighter. You have to be careful when using these, as the further I go in, the more light areas of the image get blown out. Areas of the rock at the bottom of the image are gone after I move the slider too much. The gray slider adjusts the mid-range tones of the image. Move it to the right for a darker overall image, and to the left for lighter. In the lower left is a reset arrow. Click it and the sliders move back to their original position. Curves works much the same way, but allows control of the red, green, and blue colors individually. Click the buttons at the top to change from all colors to just red, green, or blue. I have a line that runs through the histogram. I can drag it up from the left or down from the right, which does the same thing as dragging the black and white level sliders. Click anywhere on this line and a node is added. To adjust the midtones, like with the gray slider and levels, I'll click near the middle. Now I can click and drag to curve this line to adjust it lighter or darker. I can add another node to curve the line more. If I add one more about halfway between the middle node and the bottom one, I can do a nice contrast adjustment. Drag left to dec decrease contrast and right to increase. If you aren't happy with the adjustment using a node, you can get rid of it by dragging it off the edge of the histogram. Or click the reset arrow to get the plain straight line again. So now I will adjust the colors individually. Select red and add a node in the middle and drag it up to the left to increase the amount of red in the image and the opposite way to decrease. The same goes for green and blue. So you can see that Curves is very powerful, and one of the adjustment tools I use most often in Pixelmator.